A little bit higher, Dusty. One more bump. <laughs> I need longer cables. <clears throat> I just swing the boom around here. Let me. Yeah, there you go. How about there? When? Is that good? You Where's can come another six inches. Yeah. All right. Just drop it in the bottom. That's a beast, man. Wow. I can't believe my weld held. That's the biggest log it's going to lift today. What's it like to be the keeper of the control? It, it's, it's quite scary. Is it scary? <laughs> yes. It's a lot of pressure, huh? Yeah. Lane, you want me to do something or just hold the camera? I mean, you're, you're doing all the work. You look like you're having fun. Let's go. Is it fun? It's <laughs> cool. No, that's for the tractor bucket.
right here. Oh, I mean, on the inside, Wayne. What? On the okay. inside. All right. Let me move the battery a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Tell him go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, just don't stand in the way. <laughs> I think we're all safe, relatively safe here. I think that'll work. Okay, he's watching you guys. Holy oh, crap. There it goes. There it broke loose. Oh. That was ready to go. Do you hear it? Yes. Look at that fray, big old fray there. I remember that sound. It caught on the edge of your shaft. Do we want to go ahead and cut it and then have him drag the heavy part further? Pull it all the way to here. He's watching you guys. Oh, he's going to pull it. Okay. motor when Steve started lifting? Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, thank you. So just put it way down <laughs> and then let, lift it. Let it. We're not going to make I'm, it. I'm a, I'm a good we're order gonna, giver, huh? Yeah. We're not going to make it, though. It won't, it'll extend out one more, though. Well, I can pump it up to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. Do that. Hopefully nothing breaks. <laughs> oh, yeah, no prop, no sweat, right? There you go. We gotta pivot. Pull it. You want me to push it that way? Yeah. To lighter ones, maybe. Uh, well, but I got a jumper pack. We can put in. Yeah. How well, I can. How much? Huh? I could also pull my truck up next to here, or if oh. I had longer, just a longer lead, pull it up over there, hook it to the truck, right? You could start the truck and just run a battery lead, and it'd be charging it the whole time with that thing. So how? I can't believe you. How big a wire? Is that big Ten enough? Gauge. Yeah, Ten gauge. Ten gauge. Not even one. Thank you. Maybe that winch is not light. Okay. Try another one. I cut it down. I'll buy my welds didn't break. I think you cut this one. See me crack the look at this. Good. All right. So the steel stake pocket stakes worked and worked pretty well. You know, none of the logs fell out, um, and that was the problem with the straps. As the logs would shift around while we were bouncing down the road, the straps, of course, don't hold them exactly in place. And so they'd shift out and they'd be sticking out here sometimes. And the strap would just be bowed out this direction. So um, hopefully that's making sense. But um, so these stake pockets, you know, 20, we'll measure them here, see how tall they are. Let's measure them on the other side. But they seem to hold up pretty well and do the job. They kept the wood off the spare, which was part of my goal. And uh, could I put sides on it and wood? Yeah. And yeah, that would be the next step. But really what I'd like to have is one there, maybe one there as well, another stake pocket, one there, and weld on another stake pocket like right in here somewhere. Maybe you're like right there. So that um, if I needed to shift these around or make some more, I can. 
Okay, but they did a good job of holding the wood in. You know, the weld on fenders, if you watch that video, um, these uh, roll drive over fenders, um, super solid. The trees can bang into them and, or the tree trunks can bring into, bang into them. Doesn't hurt anything. Um, I'm still regretting that I welded these on because these were just super noisy on the road. The ramps, you know, they just rattle and rattle and rattle. And I would have just left them at home because I don't need them when we're hauling logs. Um, so I could have just cut it off and taken the ramps off and then welded them on later. Uh, and then I could have got longer logs on. Um, so as far as this side goes, you know, and then here I had to bend this around, you know, to get it around this log. So this is kind of bent now. So some drawbacks of welding your ramps on, you know, and I could have tied the ramps on. There's a couple other things I could have done, right? Um, so the logs didn't even, and this is not a really a full load. I've had this trailer fuller than this, um, but uh, this was enough for the terrain that we were in because we were way in the back country. Um, that one didn't even get used, but the log, this log's resting against this one right here. So I'm um, keeping them contained. Let's just look at it here, what it looks like though. <clears throat> now I redneck this together at five o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning. I'm just trying to get this together so I could use it because we were leaving at seven that morning, 7.30 that morning to go logging. Uh, there's three inches. So it's three by inch and a half channel. I was at the steel place and they don't make three and a half inch C channel apparently. <clears throat> which is fine but this worked really well this is three sixteenths thick three inches wide three uh inch and a half tall so i used some one eighth angle right here and uh welded that on for a stop and then i got to thinking well um i don't want it flopping around down in the bottom of the stake pocket so i welded this one eighth piece on just kind of tacked it on just to hold it in place also to make up for the side to side width to make it a full three and a half it's three and three quarter actually right there look at that so that's three and three quarter. Um, I welded these three quarter by three quarter square tubing on, on each end. Squeezed them together with a clamp so they wouldn't warp one way or the other and then just tacked them on. And this is another, this is probably three sixteenths right here, but it matches this right here. Uh, so when it drops in the stake pocket, it lines up. Um, this is three sixteenths, so I welded it on there and then just welded it there. I didn't weld it there because that's where the stake pocket's gonna contact, but I thought that would be enough to hold it in place. This isn't a lot of weight, of course, but I didn't want it punching through and hitting the ground or falling out. So it drops right in just like that. It does wobble around a little bit, it seems to do the job. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. I'm gonna just phosphoric acid it and paint it though, and I'll probably make a couple more just to have them. Um, but so far it did a good job of keeping things contained. Uh, if you guys have ideas of how you do this, make up for the space and not make it look quite so redneck, um, I'd be happy to hear how you do that. Uh, give me some ideas. Thanks.